Hey guys, this is Tulin. If you are feeling like, well, if you're feeling unmotivated and you're not in interested in the things you once enjoyed, you're feeling just sort of stuck, um, there's like no momentum, or you just, you know, for example, I was feeling very unmotivated um, in one phase of my life and I didn't want to like, read, go for a walk, yoga, I just, I didn't want to do anything, I didn't want to learn anything, it was like I was suffering in my own existence. So you're basically feeling like you're in a rut. The first one is, how are you using your time? Because I would just waste hours on um, the internet, not actually doing anything productive or valuable, and then um, I would just feel crap about myself. So I thought, okay, how, like, what am I doing with my time? Am I spending it wisely? And then I thought, okay, it sort of just dawned on me. Um, okay, when I'm near my deathbed, would I have said to myself, I've had a fulfilling and prosperous life and I've done everything I wanted to, or would I have thought, I wish I'd done more with my life? Um, because we sometimes get so engulfed in the present moment we feel like life happens to us rather than for us, but we've actually got control over our life. So once that sort of dawned on me, I thought, okay, well, what am I doing today that's creating myself towards that future me that's saying I've had a fulfilling and prosperous life? And this is where the magic happens because you start actually asking yourself questions and becoming aware of your um, your reality, your thoughts, your just, um, just everything around you and you start realising what doesn't serve you or what's serving you. So, because a lot, a lot of us, we, I don't, for some reason we think that it's going to magically appear, like we're, money is going to magically appear, um, our new relationships are just going to magically appear. You know, we have, we have to work towards it we think time is on our side and you know time is nothing more than a distant memory you know look at think of the times that you wish you had been more uh, confident in a in public um when you're public speaking and you thought you you wished you were less nervous it's because that present moment just overtook you and you thought oh my god like this is it like it, it, you go into like panic mode um, but when you realise, okay, in a week or in a month, I'm going to look back and it's a distant memory. Like, that's all it is. Um, like, for example, when I was taking my driving test, my driving less, yeah, my driving test. Um, obviously, it's a really nerve-wracking thing. But then I thought, okay, this it's just going to be an, a distant memory. When I look back now, it's like, okay, like, that's all it was. It was like 45 minutes and I just had to prove to her that, I could drive because I knew I could drive. Okay, so maybe now you know what you have to do and you're not doing it um, out of procrastination maybe. Um, lots of things as to maybe why you're not doing it. But if you're not doing it and for example, you're scared of coming out of that, um, that comfort zone, it's out of fear, just think, Within 24 hours and two years, it's just going to be something you look back at and it's just like, what was I even worried about? Basically, the best thing out of all of this is, for example, if I think about all the things that I, I've done in my life and I've, and, I've, and I've looked back now and I think, oh, like, thank, thank God I've, I did that. It's because, what have I got to lose, basically? Well, what am I doing? Like, what is it? What's stopping me from doing it? Like, it's only my fear. So if it's only just your fear, then if fear wasn't evolved, then you would just do it. And once you do that, you'll start to trust yourself more. You will, you'll trust yourself more. You'll grow more self-esteem and you know that you will, you can do it. And when you know that you can do something, you gain more confidence in life and more direction and you have more control over it. So 
I hope that helped. Um, so basically, you know, asking yourself, what would you say near your deathbed? And go with, that is your drive for your life. <laughs> drive for your life. And then um, the second one is when you're feeling nervous, when you know you have to get like, get your comfort, get out of your comfort zone, then realize it's just gonna be a distant memory. Everything right now is gonna be a distant memory. Even this video, I'm gonna look back in a week time and think, okay, I'm glad I did that. Like, even though I'm not completely perfect at it, I did it and then I'm gonna grow from it and then maybe in 10 years time, I'm gonna look back and thought, that was the seed that I planted for this to happen to my life, you know? So those are the two main things. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.